Welcome to First Aid Air Gun. I'm your host Lou, and today we're checking out an extended uh, magazine from Hajimoto. The one I got is for the Umarex Gauntlet in 177 caliber, Generation 1. He does have them available in all calibers for, for both Gen 1 and 2. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into this. Let's get this party started. This particular Hajimoto high capacity magazine is chambered in 177 caliber. As you see, it is for the Gen 1. These are also available in Gen 2. I believe they're also available in all calibers. One thing I like about this is the uh, textured side there. Makes it easy to grip, uh, especially if you're wearing gloves or if uh, you're in a wet environment or some moisture in the air. It's not going to slip out of your hands. Good grip right there. As you can see, it came with a cool Hajimoto sticker there, so I'm going to put that on uh, probably the uh, gauntlet itself. And this is the High Capacity Magazine. It is a 21-shot magazine that is 110% more shots. When loading the pellets, you're going to have this spun in the counterclockwise direction for tension. And I'm going to show you how to load this magazine here. It uh, takes me a little bit of practice here. I got a couple in already. Um, it's kind of got like a, uh, I put it kind of vertical or um, tilt it back towards me when putting in a pellet. Um, I didn't test any other pellets yet. These are just your standard Crossman uh, Destroyer 7.4 grains. And uh, you just rotate it to the left. Now I had to tilt it back a little bit to get that center point there where I could make the magazine move. So it's taking me a little bit of practice, but... Uh, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that. Um, 177 caliber, as you know, is a little hard to work with. Anyhow, I uh, consider myself to have fairly small hands, and even for me, it's hard to work with. As you can see, I had to tilt it back a little bit just to get it to roll, but uh, I'm sure I'll get smoother with this as time goes on. Probably going to invest in a second because, uh, as you know, uh, having spares is key, especially in air gunning, just like in life. All right, before we go any further, this is a heads up. I had to buy these um, riser mounts. I got them from uh, BKL, and uh, they are for the dovetail, which will fit on the uh, gauntlet. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here. Check this out. Without the risers, I wasn't able to uh, have the scope and the magazine inserted at the same time. So I did have to send away for some risers. But as you can see, we've got the clearance needed now for the 21-shot magazine. So we're going to take this downstairs and... Uh, See how the shots go. Well, there you go. Uh, it seems to be cycling really good. Uh, I did have one little hiccup there where it just uh, kind of hung up, but that's the, kind of the way the gauntlet, especially the Gem 1 with the bolt, it's all stock. Uh, sometimes it's a little stiff. If you have this gun, you kind of know what I'm talking about. But other than that, man, it cycled fine. Didn't have any hiccups. Uh, went through 21 shots, had some fun downstairs, shot some paper, and I showed you guys a little bit of target fun practice there, which is very cool. So, uh, you know... It's always good to have extra magazines, two, three, four, five, six, ten, whatever is your preference. I like to have about three or four spare magazines. So, uh, uh, worth a look uh, for both your Gen 1 and 2s, all calibers. Check out Hajimoto. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out to his website. So, that's what I got for you today. Everybody stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.